Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to look at some useful PVM unlocks that will make PVM in general much easier. So I am going to be going over 13 amazing PVM unlocks that will not only help you win bossing, but it'll also help with regular combat or slayer as well. I also decided to order these unlocks based on which ones a new account should generally get first, taking into account how useful the unlock is and also how difficult it is to obtain. I'm not going to be going over any gear setups or anything in this video, it's only going to be unlockables that will just help you with PVM. And also, as always, hit the thumbs up button if you do enjoy this video and subscribe for more RuneScape 3 content. But enough with the intro, let's jump into it. So starting with our first unlock, we have the Slayer Helmet. This is a pretty early game unlock and it does require 55 crafting and 35 Slayer, as well as 400 Slayer reward points. The Slayer Helmet also does have upgraded versions which increase its effect, but the Slayer Helmet is always the best in slot helmet during a Slayer task, which is why it is so useful. Once it is upgraded to the full Slayer Helmet, it provides a 12.5% accuracy and damage boost when you are on your Slayer task, and this is for all combat styles. You will also need to complete the Smoke and Kills quest before you can get the Slayer Helmet. You'll probably want to complete this anyway if you are planning on starting Slayer. That way you'll get the full amount of Slayer reward points after each task. Um, so anyway, as someone who does highly recommend new players training Slayer early on in their account, I think this is a really great first unlock for newer players trying to get into PVM and bossing. Now moving on to the next PVM unlock, we have the Ring of Vigor. This ring can be purchased from the Dungeoneering Shop for 50,000 Dungeoneering tokens. It does require 62 attack and 62 Dungeoneering to uh, equip this. And the effect of this ring, so when you do use an ultimate ability, the adrenaline is only reduced by 90% instead of 100%. Um, and the same goes for the weapon special attacks that do require 100% adrenaline as well. So this ring is really useful for PVM because of that effect. You'll be able to save more adrenaline when using an ultimate ability, which is really important because then you'll be able to get off more threshold abilities and essentially just boost your DPS in any combat situation. Next, we have the Charming Imp. So this unlock isn't able to boost your DPS, but it still is really useful for newer accounts, especially when training Slayer. So the Charming Imp can be purchased for 100,000 Dungeoneering tokens at the Dungeoneering Shop. And what it does is that it will pick up all the summoning charms automatically. So essentially, you'll just make collecting charms less tedious. And it'll also just slowly build your charm collection in your bank for when you're ready to train summoning. And this will be really important because, as you will see, summoning is another really great unlock for PVM, which I will talk about later. The God Books are another really useful unlock that can be obtained relatively early into a new account. So you will need to complete the Horror from the Deep quest to first unlock the God Books. And the God Books are a nice unlock because it gives you an item to wear in your pocket slot when doing PVM. It provides a plus 5 style bonus to all combat styles. And then when you do have the Piercing Note quest completed, which is a free to play quest. But if you do have that quest completed, you can upgrade your book to an Illuminated God Book. This will increase the style bonus from plus 5 up to plus 7. So this is a really nice upgrade because it just is... A uh, nice item that you can wear in the pocket slot and it will increase your DPS slightly. Um, it doesn't seem like it will affect much, but it will make it a little bit better at least. Now moving on to our next PVM unlock. This is a really important one. It's PVM abilities. So not all combat abilities are unlocked through leveling up. There are also many abilities that are obtained from things like quests, tasks, mini games, even codexes, which can be purchased on the Grand Exchange. So two abilities in particular that you should aim to unlock as fast as possible are Death Swiftness and Sunshine. So these two can be unlocked by completing the World Wakes quest. Um, these are ultimate abilities for ranged and magic. These two abilities are extremely useful. They're usually the best ultimate ability in many different PVM situations. What they do, they will increase your damage by 50% as long as it is active, and it is active for 30 seconds. So it does really increase your DPS, and this is definitely two ultimate abilities that you want to have as soon as possible. There are also many other abilities that can be unlocked through various activities. 
A few examples on the screen here, Corruption Shot, Corruption Blast, they can be unlocked through the Mazcab Ability Codex. These are really great damage over time abilities for both ranged and magic. And also you can unlock abilities through the Shattered Worlds. And then there's also the Devotion, which you can unlock through God Wars 1 Boss Drop. Um, there's a lot of other abilities, including Tuska's Wrath and a few others, which are really useful as well. Um, so just try and focus on unlocking Death Swimness and Sunshine first. Then you can look at unlocking some of these other abilities as well. And another amazing PVM unlock is Curses. So Curses are extremely helpful for PVM, especially bossing and high level Slayer. Curses are mainly used for Soul Split as well as Turmoil and its two counterparts, Torment and Anguish. These will certainly make PVM much easier, but there is also some high requirements that come with it. So you will need the Temple of Senesian quest completed to just unlock Ancient Curses. And then also you will need 92 prayer for Soul Split and also 95 prayer for Turmoil, Torment, and Anguish. Now, the big requirement is the Temple of Senesian quest. There is about 30 to 40 prerequisite quests that you will need to have completed before you can complete that quest. So there is a lot of work to be done. Um, as you can see on screen, these are all of the requirements that you will need to complete that quest. There's also these skill requirements on the left that you can see. Even though the requirements for the curses are really high, this reward is definitely worth it and it will make PVM much easier in the future. Soul Split is a super useful ability to allow you to heal off the damage you deal. And then Turmoil, Torment, and Anguish, they will essentially just boost your accuracy and damage. Invention is also an extremely useful unlock for PVM and more specifically the invention perks that you can attach to your own gear. So invention is an elite skill and it is unlocked after you reach 80 divination, crafting, and smithing. So those are the only requirements to unlock invention. But once you do have invention unlocked, you can then augment your gear and attach some useful perks to increase your DPS. There are many different invention perks that will help you within combat and PVM and on screen now is just an example of a few perks that will be really helpful. So the first perk is precise and it will increase your minimum damage by 1.5% per rank and precise does go up to rank 6. So you can see that this perk will increase your DPS by quite a bit especially if you have rank 6. The second perk is equilibrium. It will increase your minimum hit by 3% per rank and decrease your maximum hit by 1% per rank. So essentially it will just make your average hit a little bit better. Then there's Biting, it has a plus 2% chance per rank to critically hit your opponent, and you can get up to rank 4 with Biting. And then there's also Crackling, which periodically zaps your combat target for 50% per rank of your weapon's damage. Crackling goes up to rank 4, and it will zap your target every minute, so essentially that's just a free 200% weapon damage that you will be dealing every minute. Another really useful unlock is the Spring Cleaner. Now this item is a lot like the Charming Imp as it doesn't boost DPS, but rather it will improve the quality of life when doing PVM. So the Spring Cleaner can be created with level 43 invention, and then once you do upgrade it to the level 2000, which is just one upgrade, it can high alk drop salvage at the cost of one spring. And this is the main purpose for the Spring Cleaner. It will help you greatly on some AFK tasks, things like Abyssal Demons, where it drops a lot of salvage that you can automatically high elk. Also, once the Spring Cleaner is upgraded another level to 3000, it can automatically disassemble salvage that is dropped at no cost. That way you'll get a ton of random invention components for you to use later on. So overall, this is a really great item to use. When you are doing a lot of different kinds of PVM tasks, especially Slayer tasks and AFK training methods. Now next on the list is Enhanced Excalibur. This is an upgraded version of the Excalibur and can be obtained after completing the Hard Sears Village achievements. And then completing the Elite Sears Village achievements will double its effect, so this is highly recommended as well. Enhanced Excalibur is mainly used for its healing ability, which can be activated every 5 minutes. Once the Elite achievements are completed, the healing effect will heal 4% of your maximum life points 10 times over a period of 40 seconds, resulting in a total of 40% of your max life points. 
So this effect, as I said, can be used every five minutes, making it an extremely useful healing item. Personally, I use this whenever I am doing combat, whether that be slayer or bossing. Um, it is especially useful when you are camping a boss because you'll be able to heal 40% of your life points every five minutes, which will obviously be worth that one inventory slot. Now another really useful PVM unlock or unlocks is auras. Auras are essentially an item that activate a special effect and some useful PVM auras may increase your hit accuracy, heal you percentage of the damage you deal, maybe even restore your prayer or increase your damage dealt. For the most part, auras can be purchased from the member's loyalty shop with either loyalty points or rune coins. And then also you can buy a few of the auras from War's Wares shop, which you will be able to purchase with Marks of War. So Marks of War are obtained after killing bosses. And as you can see, all five of these auras that can be purchased through Marks of War, they're all really useful. So first off is the Vampirism Aura. This aura lets you gain life points equal to 5% of any damage that you deal. This is extremely useful for various PVM and even bossing situations. The second aura is the Dark Magic Aura. It's another really useful aura for any combat style. It will essentially increase your damage output by about 5-10% to depending on your hits per minute. And then next is the Berserker, Reckless, and Maniacal Aura. Each of these auras will boost their respective combat style damage and accuracy by 10%, while subsequently lowering your defense level by 15%, meaning you will take 15% more damage, but you'll also deal much more damage as well. Also, the Supreme Brawler Aura, Runic Accuracy Aura, and Sharpshooter Aura are some other really good auras that you can purchase from the Loyalty Point Shop. These will boost their combat style accuracies by 10% if you do have the Supreme version. So these are also some other really great auras that can be purchased through loyalty points or rune coins. Now, similarly to auras, relics can also provide useful perks to PVM. So relics can be unlocked through archaeology and there are seven useful combat related relics. All of these relics will be useful for PVM, but the best relics being Berserker's Fury, Fury of the Small, and then also Conservation of Energy. You can have up to three relics active at a time with a maximum combined monolith energy of 500. So depending on which relic you are using, you may not be able to combine three of them at once. Here's just a list of all of the combat relics. As you can see, Berserker's Fury is a really great one. It will deal up to 5.5% extra damage depending on how low your life points are. And then also Fury of the Small, it will allow all basic abilities to generate 1% more adrenaline. This one I really do like. Um, and then there's also Conservation of Energy. So after using an ultimate ability, you will regain 10% adrenaline. And this does also stack with the Ring of Vigor, which we went over earlier. So if you do have that ring on and the Relic, you'll have 20% adrenaline after you use an ultimate ability. And also, I want to mention that I do have a full Relics guide in the description down below. So if you guys do want to check that out, definitely click the link and watch that video. I go over every archaeology relic and rank them based on a skill tier list, so definitely check that out if you are interested. Now, another more obvious PVM unlock that is extremely useful is overloads. So an overload is a potion that can be made at 96 herb lore or 94 if you are using the Green Man's Al M to boost it to levels. But when you do drink this potion, it will boost all combat stats by 15% their current level, plus 3 more. So meaning if you are level 99, your stats will be boosted by 17 levels and go up to level 116. This will greatly boost your DPS, which is why these potions are so useful. Now, although they do give a significant increase, they are only slightly better than the viable Super War Master potions, Overloads will boost your combat stats by 4 more levels than Super War Master Potions. However, Overloads also reapply that boost every 15 seconds, preventing the boost to decay, which is unlike other stat boosting potions. That's why Overloads are so much better than Super War Master Potions, although the stat boost isn't really that much greater. 
it doesn't go down. It's more of a static boost. So if you are fighting creatures that will decrease your stats, then the overload will prevent that, which is what makes it so powerful. Even drinking things like Ceridomian Brews, which will decrease your stats, if you do have an overload active, it won't. So that is why overloads are so great and they're better than Super War Master Potions, even though the boost is only four levels higher. Now, overloads can be really expensive to unlock since you do need 96 herb lore to make them. However, it is really, really useful, especially if you're planning on doing some high-level bossing. Now, the last unlock that I will discuss is also extremely important, and that is summoning familiars. So, similarly to herb lore, Summoning is also an expensive skill to train, however many of these high level summoning familiars that can be unlocked, they're extremely useful for PVM. So first off, there are two different types of useful PVM familiars, there's the Beast of Burdens, which can store extra food and PVM supplies for you, like the Pakyak, War Tortoise, and the Spirit Terrorbird. Now there are also many different familiars that increase your damage output, like Steel Titans, Nihils, even Ripper Demons, so Summoning Familiars are one of the more useful unlocks for PVM. Beast of Burdens are especially useful for newer players when learning new bosses. Having some extra supplies so you can tank some more hits just in case you make a few mistakes is really, really useful. And then also unlocking things like the Nihils, the Ripper Demons, the Steel Titan. These will just boost your damage output, which is also really, really useful. Nihils can be unlocked at level 87 summoning, and then the Ripper Demon can be unlocked at 96 summoning. So anyway guys, these are all the useful unlocks that I want to discuss in this video. So hopefully we'll help you guys out and plan out what you want to unlock next to make PVM easier for you. Also, if there was an unlock that you think I may have missed, let me know in the comments down below and I might pin it for everyone to see. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you did find this video helpful. And definitely make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. And I really hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.